Hey YouTube, this is another one of my tutorial videos. Um, in my most recent tutorial video um, regarding the Mumbuster server installation, um, I touched on the, the full installation process and kind of in-depth configuration of the settings uh, file. What I'm going to do now, there was a request from Dustin um, who said that maybe in the next video we should look at how to set up channels and permissions. Um, this wasn't something I touched on too greatly. Um, I don't think there's too much difficulty with doing that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go for the tutorial video to do this anyway. So, um, I'm going to try and pick it up really from where we left off. I'll, I'll touch back on a few things from, from my previous video. Uh, my previous video is here, I'm going to put it uh, a link in the description as well. Um, so let's just get straight to it. So what I'm going to do first of all is make sure that my Mumble server is still there. So I've still got the IP which is there um, and I'm also going to ensure that I know the login for my password which conveniently I've forgotten. So do I want Mumble server to start and boot? Yes. High priority, always password for the super user okay so we're all we're all there we're all running absolutely fine so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop over on to my Ubuntu build I use a lot of open source um, software I much prefer Ubuntu as an OS to anything else which is on the market hopefully Ubuntu there um, I only use Windows purely because Windows is the gaming platform at the moment. So fingers crossed Ubuntu will get that sorted in, in conjunction with Valve. Um, so I'm going to open up Mumble. You can do this on any uh, any installation of Mumble. You don't have to have Ubuntu OS to use a Ubuntu server. If you've got Windows, that's fine. Just use Windows. So uh, I'm going to connect to my server now. So my server is completely vanilla. So I'm going to add new, uh, label it up. So what I would normally do now is I would label it as super user. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to administer my server to start with. So the password which I got from my server just now, doing the IF config, and the username which is going to be super user. Not because I am a super user, but because that's just what it is. I'm not going to show you my password because stupidly I set it to the same password as what I use for my actual mobile server, so you're not getting onto that. So straight away we have a ping response. That's great. So what we can do now is connect into it. Connected. Brilliant. We're in. So what we can do from within this as a super user is we can, you know, we can change it. We can right click these bits. We can edit them. Main channel. Yeah, that's add a note. Woohoo, we've got a note. It's what is this? It's the it's the main channel, of course. Um and that's all very well and good, but if it's just me as a super user, I'm muted and I I can't talk to people I can't hear people but I am registered so what I want to do now is actually create myself in the server so what I'm going to do is not to press that button I'm going to go to server disconnect disconnected from server there you go disconnected so what I'm actually going to do now is connect now I've got my super user but I'm going to add somebody new ironically myself so we're in. Uh, I'm going to be Steve OC. So let's connect to Steve OC's Mumble server as Steve OC. Connected. Server connection rejected. Wrong password. Connected. Okay. So we needed the password um, for that. The password for your server is something which you will have set in the configuration file, uh, which I, I touched on in my last video. Uh, if you need to find that quickly, uh, just sudo nano slash etc slash mumble hyphen server dot ine and scroll down to where your password is. In this case, mine was nice and easy to remember and again it's one which I use for my main mumble server which is Samsung. Don't mind giving that out because you're not going to administer my server. Um, so going forwards now, I'm Steve OC, I can't do anything here because I'm just a user, I have no privilege. So what I'm going to do is right click, then I'm going to register. Do you want to register? Yes. That puts this little man just here with a plus, which means I'm authenticated into the server. 
straight away that won't do anything for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log back out of this server. Disconnected from server. Like that. And then log back in as the super user. So click my super user label and connect. Connected. So I'm still administering the same server, just now log back in with super user. But what we can do now is we can right click my main channel and edit it. Same screen as before, but this time I'm going to go to groups. This is where it starts to get nice. So the groups I want to administer is admin. And what I want to do is I want to get a member and I want to add myself. Now, as I'm not a live entity on the server, I'm not going to come up in that drop down box. So I just have to type the name in and click add. You can also click people and remove them if you need to, but in this case, I'm just going to add myself. You can exclude members if you want to as well. Um, I'll touch more on, on the groups and permissions uh, in a few minutes. I, I just want to get myself set up so I can actually administer this as myself first. So we'll, we'll go forwards. So Steve OC is now a registered user who is in the administration group. So we're going to disconnect from the server. Disconnected from server. And then we're going to pick another server. This time I'm going to go back in as myself, Steve OC. Connect. Connected. Well, hey, we're back in. Now I have the the, the options though, uh, and you can also see that I'm not muted. I'm a standard Mumble user who can talk, who can, who can do anything they need to. I can write messages. The difference is if anyone else was in this Mumble platform at the moment, they'd probably hear me speaking. Obviously, no one's in because this is a test virtual server on my LAN. You ain't going to get into it. But what we can do now is go right click, edit, remove, do whatever we need to. So that's the first part of it. You're now a, a fully fledged administrator to this to this server. Uh, a few notes I would probably put on there is once you're registered on here, you can't reconnect with a different password. Uh, it'll be very difficult for you. If you do get someone who manages to lock themselves out in some way, shape or form, I tend to find that going up to the server option, uh, I think this may be under file or it is server certainly in Windows, and go to registered users. You can see everyone who's registered. If you've got someone who's registered, they need to change something, just click their name, hit remove, and they're gone. I'm not going to do that because then I won't be able to administer this server anymore. Uh, going forwards now, what we're going to do is look at channels, channel nesting. So right click, add, name of channel, um, tutorial chat, because I'm big headed like that. Um, yeah, And what we can also do on here is we can put a position on it. The position is, it, it, by standard, the channels will go alphabetical. If you start sitting position numbers on them, they will they will go down in an ascending order so that you can you know really line your channels up. I normally leave mine alphabetical because my brain works that way. Don't know about the people on my server, but hey ho. So I'm going to hit OK there, and that's had a tutorial chat as a channel underneath my main server. So what we can do now, we can add more. Um, we can edit it if we want to. Um, when we hover over it, the description which we put in there, just the description, is going to flag up um, talk about how much you enjoyed my tutorial or not. Uh, we can also put all different kinds of text on there. We can make it bold, we can make it italic, we can underline it, you can change the colour of it, do what you want. You can hyperlink it, put the pictures in. I'm not going to do lots of that, but there you go. Changes are in there. And you can also do that with the, uh, with the main channel just here, which is just not going to show you at the moment. Uh, that's probably because I'm in there. So what we can do, we can I can drag myself, throw myself into the other channels, and there we go. We can see the, the, the description of the main channel as well. Um, what I probably would say is that it's probably not a good idea to start administrating different things from your main root channel. All I would do with this, I mean, certainly all I do on my server is I'll edit the description. I put a little hi, welcome to Steve OCs, a few bullet points, as you know, make sure you register yourself, if you've got any problems, email me, that kind of thing. Um, all that does then is, is it's a nice little amount of information to pop up there. You can also have this information rammed in there, which I did go over in my previous tutorial as well. 
So if we kind of digress a bit, we'll go forwards, we'll start looking at looking at groups and, and their permissions. So with groups, you do have the ability to add people, uh, groups even, YouTube viewers, add, boom. So what we can do then is we can have these different groups um, and then you know we can we can make these uh, these YouTube viewers able to to do different things within this. Uh, we can add all group YouTube viewers. So the access control is here. Uh, so can they write into it? No. Can they traverse it? No. Can they enter it? Yes. Can they speak? Yes. Yes, they can mute themselves. Do you want them to move themselves? Yes. So these are all the different permissions that you can use. Um, and these are all administered from here. So act, active control list, you can create your own control list. So in this case, yeah, YouTube viewers are in there. I've picked the YouTube viewers group because that's who I want it to affect. And then we can, we can decide what I want them to do. So if I don't want them to whisper, I don't want them to text, and I don't want them temporary. They can't kick, they can't ban, uh, they can register themselves though. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go back into there. Access control list is active, applies to this channel and all of its sub channels. So now anyone who falls into the YouTube viewers is going to fall foul of my evil ways. This is good if your server grows quite quickly if you have a lot of people in your server if you're kind of like owning a clan you know you, you've got kind of multiple multiple users but you want to tier them different stages so you know you, I mean obviously you don't want anyone wrecking your server um, you don't want to give everybody admin access which would just be incredibly stupid um, give them a permission and let them go from there as far as I'm aware permissions go you, you have to be a registered user to be able to be made part of a group um, fairly self-explanatory it's very difficult getting people to register in the first place I find because most people just can't be bothered um, you could probably leave it as all um, and allow them to register themselves and you could probably cross everything else off that would create a lot of probably unhappy people very quickly and then they would probably leave your channel but that's just one of those things admin can just do everything authenticator can make temporary it's just how mumble rolls um, so I mean that's that's a basic workaround of the permissions and, and channels um, going a bit further channel nesting is available in my previous video I kind of skimmed over the option to do that I think you can have a maximum of about 100 channels nested so you know you can really go to town with it let's drop that down look one add 1.1 denied invalid channel okay. name okay it didn't like 1.1 I'll have another then um, you know we can we can keep going as, as much as we need to um, so that's the, the channel nest inside of it. I particularly find this good if you want to create a game channel. So I mean, uh, a good example would be we'll add uh, BF Hardline. So if you've got like a bit of a clan going on, and you've got multiple guys. Obviously, you don't want the whole team speaking together. You can have Battlefield Hardline add cops. Drop it down. There's cops. Add robbers boom and then you've instantly got two channels you can split your guys off make sure they're into the correct channel into the correct channel and away you go there's going to be no cross talk if you want to you can be a real dick take away their their availability to move themselves um, that would be quite a nasty admin who would do that though it's a mobile server it's not that serious and you can go from there um, there are a few other options which I would probably say would make your mobile life a lot better um, in configure in your settings you have an option with audio input just here you need to make sure advanced is ticked otherwise you won't have this option and you need to these will probably be about here as a standard 
quality. Turn your quality all the way up if you've got bandwidth to spare. I personally have 15 meg up, which probably isn't a lot compared to probably a lot of inner city American people, but certainly by kind of UK standards, 15 meg up is quite a lot. Um, turn it all the way up, it makes your speech clearer, makes it better certainly for, for people on the other end. And then audio per packet, you need to turn down. What that does, that makes less audio per packet, so there are more packets going over, pulls the latency down, so it's a lot faster. Absolutely fantastic, and will work exceptionally well. The other thing which I would probably say you want to look at is your user interface. Um, there is an option on here which I noticed recently came in, into play and it was hide in tray when minimized. That is bloody annoying. When you minimize it, you can't see any trace of Bumble. I tick that. And there is also an option somewhere to be able to extend all the channels. Um, you can show channel user count as well. That's quite cool. Apply, go. There we go. So you can see how many people are in which channel, so on and so forth. Um, and you can ensure that all of these channels are permanently left outwards. Uh, that's about it really for the mumble channels and, and permissions side of things. Um, what I'm going to do just as one last and final job, um, I didn't touch really on server administration. If, when, if you are mid-flight as we are now, the, the server's up, it's running, we need to make a change to it. We can pass it to me. So if you needed to actually change something now for whatever reason, so I'm gonna change, gonna change this bandwidth amount. I'm gonna move my bandwidth up. You may probably never ever need to do this, it's pointless, I'm just making a change so I can show you how to do it. We have made the change, control and O, write it out, control and X, quit. That change isn't going to take effect at the moment because the Mumble server is still running. What I am going to do though is you can control it by pseudo service Mumble server. Now what we can do is find out what we can do with it. We can stop it, we can start it, we can restart it and we can force reload it. In this case, we've made a change. We're going to restart it. Server connection failed. The remote host closed the connection. Okay, so as you heard just then, the server actually dropped. Connected. And then came straight back up. That's restart of the server. If you need to make any changes, that's how you do it. You don't need to stop it and then start it individually. Make your change, hit restart. The drop is kind of instantaneous and it comes straight back up yeah you might annoy a few people in your server but one drop like that really isn't going to be the end of the world for these guys it's a mumble server it's not serious um, as always I would strongly strongly appreciate any any kind of critique whether it's positive or negative I obviously would prefer it to be positive but thank you very much for watching my tutorial Dustin, I hope this really does kind of curb your your query. Um, if it doesn't, please feel free to let me know and I'll see what more I can do. Um, as always, please like, share it if you like, and uh, I really appreciate subscriptions because I'm going to uh, try and do a lot more tutorials in, in the coming future of how to install various bits and bobs, uh, primarily Ubuntu server-based but then also I may stretch over onto the technicalities of running it from a Windows side. All right, thank you very much.